I'm Jace. I'm Tony. Um, and so our idea is resource redistribution between farmers and um, people in more urban areas. We came up with this idea because in doing our research we found that one third of calories get lost or wasted a year that are produced. Um, and then 40% of the losses come because of harvest loss. Um, According to the FAO, 450 million people in Africa are left unconnected due to lack of infrastructure and access to markets. Um, and that's part of the reason why so much food gets wasted. You can go ahead. Um, zero food waste and zero poverty is a part of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, which Benin is a part of that consortium. So the Benin government government signed um, or was part of a coalition that decided to help reach these goals and we're focusing on the increasing infrastructure and access to markets. Okay, so our idea that we came up with was to create a, like a redistribution service so we're going to start off by kind of surveying the farmers and surveying the ranchers and the consumers to see what, for, like for example, for the farmers to see what products they produce and for the consumers what products they want. That way we can kind of transport them to different areas where they are lacking. So for example, if there's a farmer who is producing a lot of tropical fruits and is lacking peppers and maize, we can create that connection to transport the produce that they're producing, as well as stopping in cities to sell those produce as well, sell that produce as well. Um, and like when we go to the farmers and once we create kind of a connection and a contract, we will actually buy all of their products that they are wanting to sell up front. So we will do a hand-for-hand -hand exchange of money and produce. <coughs> So there won't be any worry on the farmers whether or not their products will be sold because that worry will be put on us, whether or not the products get sold. Um, and we kind of want to do that because a lot of farmers um, don't have the technology or the resources to transport their produce to different areas. So by us extending our help, we are able to kind of widen their market to produce more sales for them. So the more people that are buying their our product, their product through us, the more money they're going to be making, and the more we're going to be able to help kind of distribute those products. And with distributing them, we're going to be using food trucks. That way, they can be safely transported, and we won't lose a lot of products due to mishandling food, so they don't spoil. So we just want to sell, um, we just want to buy those products to kind of, like I said, widen the market for the farmers as well as giving you guys who don't have, you may not have a certain produce in your area that other farmers might sell. As well as we'll take items like salt or um, like textiles, like woven items to rural areas where they don't have those technical processes or artisans. Like 
oranges or something in one place might have cashews or abundance of cashews, we would take those place those um, resources and distribute them to the places that don't have them. And if two places have both grow maize, we wouldn't bring, bring maize to the other location, if that makes sense. Um, so to do this, we're going to work with grassroots organizations, research stations, universities around the area to kind of figure out uh, what the infrastructure is like, what um, is needed, what's not needed, and also work with the farmers and consumers, as we said before. Um, this is going to help, help the communication between the markets and the farmers. Um, also, we're going to try to get funding from the United Nations, USAID, and development agencies to kind of get us to be able to sell the products at a higher, uh, sell the products for profit, but also uh, buy the products from the, uh, from the farmers. So hopefully through this we can um, connect that link between the farmers and the markets and um, kind of get a better communication between the two. Yeah, so like with the surveying that I brought up earlier, we, we want to be on the ground, face to face, talking to the farmers and talking to the consumers mm -hmm. instead of just assuming that you guys need this product when in reality you need the other one. So by coming face to face, like, and if you were paying attention during Chase and Tyler's, it says that only nine percent of rural communities um, have power or have, um, oh, yeah, electricity. So like with that, if we were to create like an online survey, they wouldn't be able to fill that out because they don't have access to Wi-Fi, which we need electricity for. So by going, we're going to be going face to face, giving out those surveys as well as implementing like an online service as well for those that do have access to Wi-Fi or online services. That way, we can reach different markets and different consumer points. That way, we're not leaving anyone out, and we're giving everyone the opportunity to use our service. And then it was also brought up um, when we were here last time about creating some sort of app that could use. So like with our trucks, once we have a produce that we're ready to sell, and we go to a point in the city, we are wanting to be able to send out like a notification to everyone that we stopped at this point and that we are selling these products. That way they don't have to waste their time coming to us looking for a product that we don't have, don't know what we have, and they'll be able to know when and where we'll be at all times. Mm -hmm.